Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Jello and this is my quick unboxing of the Nintendo Switch OLED model. Now I know there are a lot of these videos already that have gone around uh, unboxing the OLED model. Some have had it even uh, a week in advance but uh, I decided to do my own to show you guys uh, what the unboxing experience is like. So turning the box around uh, we actually see the uh, different ways of playing with the Nintendo Switch in case we're not yet familiar with that by now. And uh, on one side of the box we have the, the uh, OLED model. So that's what it says and it highlights a 7 inch OLED screen with this time a 32 gigabyte uh, system memory provision with a new design dock with a LAN port and of course the kickstand that we've all been hearing about. And the underneath of the box is just a list of contents of what you're going to be finding inside. And so now let's open the box. If I can get it open. I'm wearing gloves because I don't want to get it all smudgy with my grubby hands. That'll happen naturally when I play it. And so opening the box, the first thing that we are going to see are the Joy-Cons and of course the OLED screen itself from the new OLED model of the Switch. Now taking out the Joy-Cons, they are still the same Joy-Cons that we know and love with the drift. And so there's nothing new here. Design is the same, everything is the same, it's expected that the internals are the same. The only difference is it's white. And that's the reason why I chose white. It's so that at least you know that the Switch is new. That it's the OLED model. Because if you get the other OLED model that comes in uh, the neon red and blue. Then it looks just like the old Switch. So I decided to go with the white one. Now this is the OLED Switch itself. With the... Uh, logo at the back and let's take a look at that in more detail later on some literature that nobody really reads but it's there in case you get bored and you want to read it talks about the switch light a little bit let's put that aside taking out the cardboard box we are greeted by more of the contents so let's take a look at what it comes with so this is actually the HDMI cable, standard issue, so nothing new here. Then it comes with its uh, own AC adapter. Now I got a couple of these already by this time um, lying around the house. I actually kept the others in a box of the other switches that I have so they don't get all used at the same time, but it's still the same kind of. Uh, USB-C power adapter there so let's put this away here we have the Joy-Con strap railing thingy what do you call these things anyway okay let's just call them the rail straps Joy-Con rail straps how's that let's give that as a name so if you'll notice the straps the design of the strap itself matches the color of the Joy-Con, so it's got white accents on it. That goes for both. So pretty neat. If you put this on your Joy-Cons, if you play it that way, and it actually matches the color of the Joy-Con. Cool. And down here is the grip for the Joy-Con so nothing new it seems a little bit glossier to me but probably it's just because it's new out of the box so I'll probably take a look at this alongside one of my old Joy-Con grips and see if it's actually glossier or it just looks that way because it's new And down here, we finally reach the dock, if I can pull it out. All right.
Now here is the dock itself. So the dock is also colored just like the Joy-Cons. So I did opt for the white one. It's funny because the way the dock looks, you know, white, black and white, it actually looks like the color of a PS5. That's funny, right? Now here's the Switch logo in front in a glossy um, uh, imprinted type of logo there. This is how the back looks like with a new cutout for the cables. The side of the dock still has your two USB-A ports for charging your controller, your pro controller if you need it, other accessories. And looking at the back, this thing just actually pops out. So if you pull that out, it doesn't swivel like the old dock where the old dock can actually swivel. This one is completely detachable. And down here, we have provisions for AC adapter, your HDMI output. And this time, instead of a USB port, you have a LAN port. So this is probably considered the only pro feature of this uh, Nintendo Switch OLED model that uh, we're getting. A LAN port for uh, high-speed online gaming, if that's your thing. Now, let me just put this aside. And lay the dock down here. And now the moment we've all been waiting for the OLED screen itself on the Switch's body. So let's take a look at how this bad boy looks like in person. Oh, that is shiny. Like, it's really reflective when it's off. That's the reason why I wore gloves. Didn't want to get it all smudgy for this video. So this is the side rail. The build is actually very good. The back, it feels much, much more premium than the original Switch. And there's a little bit of weight to it as compared to the older one. And up top, we have the power button and the volume buttons that are really premium looking. I mean, this looks really classy in person. And the underside, so you still have your USB charging port down there, so that you and the uh, speaker grills or the speaker ports located a little bit uh, underneath uh, the unit itself as compared to front firing ones, directly front firing ones. Now, let's uh, turn this thing on and see how it looks like. There's the Nintendo Switch logo. And yeah, that's the indicator for putting in the Joy-Cons to start up the setup. Now notice the bezels are really, really thin on this one, which makes the screen really bigger even though it has retained the same body size, almost. It's about a millimeter uh, longer actually if we were to measure it but and oh yeah I bought this uh, from a local game store and they gave me these two games as part of the uh, package for purchasing this OLED model so I got Kingdom Hearts the music game I don't know what it's called and Cadence of Hyrule and of course I did buy myself Metroid Dread to play on my new OLED switch because why wouldn't I? So there you go. Got a couple of games to play on this bad boy today. So this is how it looks like side by side with the Super Mario Switch. So you'll notice really a brighter screen, more vibrant in, uh, in its display of colors. This has the Switch Lite, the Super Mario Switch model, and of course the OLED model showing the differences between the screen sizes there. I've decided to try it out with the Hori Split Pad Pros and this is how it looks like. Not bad, not bad at all. 
So what are your thoughts on the Nintendo Switch OLED model here that I've just shown you guys? Is it something that you are interested in? Do you already own a Switch and you want to upgrade to this one? Let's talk about it in the comment section down below. Do leave a like if you enjoyed this video and share this video with a friend that loves video games just like you and me. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next one.